Welcome back. This video is going to be going over the ninth question of a midterm practice I used to hand out at University for Statistics. If you've missed the other questions, please look at the corner here, description or comment section. There will be a playlist with all the questions associated with this midterm. The question states, imagine that your exam for your statistics class has 50 questions. Each question has four multiple choice options, giving you a probability of 0.25 of getting each question right just by guessing. Assuming that you guess on all questions, what is the probability that you get between 9 and 11 inclusively questions correct on your exam? This is another z-score binomial approximation, but it deals with the continuity correction. The reason why I know it's a continuity correction is because it says inclusively. This is to distinguish between other binomial calculations and probability questions. Given the binomial aspects of this question. So we're looking at the z-score equals x minus np over the square root of np 1 minus p. And the continuity correction is going to be x plus or minus 0 0.5. Now when you do plus or minus 0 0.5, remember at the lower end, because you want to include 9, you need to subtract 0 0.5 from 9. And because you want to include 11, you need to add 0 0.5 to 11. Let's get into the calculation. We have probability of 9 less than or equal to r, so r is standing for right, less than or equal to 11, will equal, for the continuity correction, the probability of 8.5 less than or equal to r, less than or equal to 11.5. And so we then calculate the mu, or the n times p part of this calculation, to get 50 times 0 0.25 to give us 12.5. Those are how many questions we're expected to get right just by guessing. The standard deviation is the square root of np times 1 minus p, which gives us 50 times 0 0.25 times 0 0.75, which gives us 3.06. Now we do two different z-score calculations. The first one is 8.5 minus 12.5 over 3.06 which gives you negative 1.306. The next is 11.5 minus 12.5 over 3.06 to give you negative 0.327. And after you've got all of that, <laughs> just there's a lot of like minor calculations that happen with this one, you have approximately the probability of negative 1.306 less than z, not r, z, less than negative 0 0.327, which equals the probability of z is less than negative 0 0.327 minus the probability of z less than negative 1.306, which gives you 0 0.372 minus 0 0.096, which gives you 0 0.276. Now there's a few things I wanna add here. The first one is I did round. The second thing, I did use a binomial CDF calculation, which you can use in Excel or a calculator. If you don't know how to do that, just use the Z table. There will be another question tomorrow. I have about 18 questions total. Given we've had nine, we have about nine left. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section. And if you, you want me to go into more detail, just leave that down there too. Thank you for watching and stay nerdy, my friends.